Such car. Very wow. <laughs> Somebody said talk of pita pit. Huh? He didn't like pita pit. That last time I went, I was real, real angry. I thought you said you didn't like extreme pita. I can't. I don't know. I don't know the difference. I uh, between the names, I only know the difference between the location. There's definitely a difference. You didn't go to pita school. You didn't get your PhD. So today at Reaction, there's the Pro Dev Lunch, which basically means that we all sit in the conference room and watch a YouTube video. They're like TED Talks, kind of, but you don't get food. No, unless you go get your food. Okay. I like this one, but you don't like this one. Oh, it's not my favorite. <laughs> well, they, like they dropped the ball on my pita. You just one time though. Give I them a, will, give them I another give chance. Them a second chance. Let let the guy that makes my pita make your pita. Oh, okay. And then you will be in pita heaven, pita paradise. <laughs> Shaved up. You look like a different person, man. Yeah, man. I can't even. That's crazy. We were once beard brothers, oh, yeah. but now. I told you, man. I told you. Those guys are chill. They are chill. I like those dudes. Last time they dropped the ball, but, but this like, time they, uh, they put so much love into this thing. Yeah, that looked like, like a good combination. Yeah. You got you got some good stuff. Though. I got some good stuff. All right. Let's also, head back. I, I learned uh, a little. Why is it called a tuxedo cake, Mike? Because it has many, many layers. Tuxedos have a lot of layers? Yeah, because you have like the shirt and the vest and the- I thought it was just because it was kind of like the front of a tuxedo because it's like black on either side and then it's like the white stripe in the middle with the like, you know? Well, we'll let you decide. Happy birthday, Mike. Thanks, Jeff. What went down? It's going down. I'm in the mud. You better move. You better dance. Can I get the heck out of here? I know what you're saying. You're like, Jeff, why don't you go into your car? Well, the fact is that Gilbert bought a cell phone from this place called Moby Jacks. Uh, they did a really bad job. It was like, he's had to bring it back three, four, maybe five times. So I think he's over there right now. <music> Hey, buddy. Hey. You made it. Yeah. How's life? It's good. What's happening? Well, um, the phone doesn't work. We're just trying to make it work. We've had some issues with his phone, so we're just uh, doing yeah, what we can to get it to work here. It's been quite the saga. Do you have anything unless you want to go to an Android? I've got lots of Android right now, lots of Samsung. But yeah. the problem is I just don't have nothing Apple right now, right? But I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take before we get another iPhone uh, in for Rogers, right? It might be tomorrow, it might be in a month. Why don't I grab back the original phone? The one that was having the GPS issues? I'll give it to you as the same deal that we've got going on right now, so it'll only have kind of cost you 150 for it. So you're only into that phone now for 150 um, and then, uh, you know, if you want to come back and trade or whatever. A company can screw up and make mistakes and everything like that, but as long as they're not a dick about it, it's like usually <laughs> not nearly as big of a deal. <laughs> wow. So I like to think one of the things that makes these vlogs so unique is the quality of them, right? The craftsmanship. Now don't get me wrong, you don't need some fancy camera with a whole bunch of equipment to make a good movie. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is one of the things that I take pride in is the quality of the vlogs that I produce. 
Brian. Which is why I'm so frustrated about the entire breakdown of production of the vlog today. Here's what happened. You remember back in my Canada Day vlog when I said this? Never vlog without a gear bag. I wasn't lying. Problem is that the bag I was using before couldn't cut it. I needed to upgrade. Now I know at this point you're like, Minolta, what does your vlog bag have to do with all of these production problems you had? I'm getting to that. Inside of this bag is everything that I would need in order to shoot a vlog for a day. I've got extra batteries, extra cards, power adapters, chargers, and the key here is that I was missing some very important components from my bag today. The backpack has three separate compartments. First, and ironically, the least important, is the main compartment of the backpack. I use that for general storage, it switches out every day. The only thing that I really consistently keep inside of the main storage compartment of this backpack is my laptop. In case I need to dump some footage off or to quickly edit something, this is what I use to make the vlogs. The next compartment, this is the, uh, the patty in the hamburger of backpack compartments that we are building. This front compartment contains a lot of the stuff that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, extra mini tripods to set up a shot, pens. This is where I keep my batteries for the camera. Also, uh, extra lens caps, the power adapters and cords that I need for my MacBook and for my battery charger. It's all stored in this main compartment so that I can zip it out, get it quick, and get back to it. If I run out of batteries, I gotta be able to get another battery, put it right in the camera, and keep vlogging. Next up, and this is of highest importance, is the secure chamber at the top of my backpack. This area is where I keep all of my valuable breakable stuff. My SD cards, in case that they need to get stored away. My point and shoot camera. This is my backup in case my main vlog camera goes down. It was my main vlog camera for a long time, but now that I've got the big guy, there's really no reason to use this, except for in emergency or like extremely mobile situations, you know, where a giant camera is a little bit intimidating. Today, while vlogging, I ran out of batteries twice because I had left all of my batteries at home. My charger, my backup batteries, even the charger cords and adapters were all left at home because I was charging from yesterday. That, in and of itself, would not have been a big deal at all. Here's where I got hit with the double whammy, my point and shoot also forgot at home. I thought it was lost until I finally found it buried under my desk. Don't worry though, despite the production problems, I'm gonna keep turning these vlogs that you guys are loving out. I'm gonna try and do them every single day. It's tiring me out, yeah, but your guys' response is incredible, and that's what's keeping me going. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you next time. I'm at two thirds or half battery. You let that. You let it like run less. You're not gonna miss anything by not filming in this room when you get. But what if you say something really funny that I want to include in the vlog, Shane? I have never said anything funny.